And then when I say, I hear with Lauren, you be like, hey. Okay. All right, perfect. You know, nice and loud. Okay. And I'm like, all right, so, like, ready? Three, two. What's up, folks? Fold me, Ike. Back at it again. This time, I'm joined by the lovely Lauren. Hey. Okay, so you guys, Lauren's been around before, right? We, we worked together. She was lovely. She came to my photo walk last year. And so I had to reach out to her because I had to see her again, especially for this moment that we have with the noise in the background. Let that go through. So you guys, long story short, you know, I got some secret connects in Nikon. It was like, hey, we got some stuff we need you to, you know, preview, take a test for, right? The streets gotta know what's going on out here, right? So who better than me, all right? So anyways, uh, I am testing out the brand new pre-release. This is a prototype, pre-production version of the Nikon. It's so prototype, I'm not, I gotta look. The 28 to 400 uh, F4 to F8 lens. <laughs> 24 that <laughs> Anyways, it's basically like an all-purpose like walk around, sports photography, street photography, travel lens. It's kind of like nice and compact, right? We got it taped up because it's real secret, like nobody can know about it. So matter of fact, if you're watching this, don't tell anybody you saw this, right? Anyways, so I am a portrait photographer. That's my bias, that's my discipline. So anytime I test any kind of lens or any kind of gear, I'm gonna give you the portrait photographer's bias of what my think, of what I think, how I use the gear. So Without further ado, uh, I have Lauren, I have a location. I got about 10 minutes to get this lens and do what it do. So I'm gonna provide you a voice server. I'm gonna show you guys some sample images. Again, this is a pre-production, right? And uh, hopefully by the time you see this video, uh, there'll be some more, you know, get to figure out you said that. Anyways, all right, cut. <laughs> okay guys, so what's going on here? Long story short, Regardless of what I'm shooting with, I'm always gonna try to educate you guys on what's going on. So, the sun is behind us right now, so I'm gonna use the sun to kind of have her rim light. I'm using off-camera flash, I'm using the Westcott FJ400 uh, with the umbrella, it's like a 41 inch deep umbrella. And I'm using the trigger, now I'm shooting TTL because this lens is a variable aperture lens, so if I zoom in and zoom out, the aperture may change. And because I like to shoot different focal lengths, like I just want to use TTL to make it simple. But luckily, the Westcott is very good at adjusting, so TTL should get it done. So yeah, I don't do TTL very often, but this is going to be a TTL shoot. Anyways, you ready? You ready. All right, let's go. So I'm at 28 right now, so I'm shooting at the wide end. So we're at f4 on the lens, uh, ISO 100, and the uh, shutter speed is 1 60th of a second. Actually, I'm going to go to 1 200. Come on, come this way a little bit, come this way a little bit. Back up a little bit more. Come this way a little bit. Boom, turn this way. Boom, perfect, perfect. Excellent, hold that. One, two. Excellent. Hold that, come back this way a little bit. Zoom in to about 50.
back up. Go this way. Back at 400 degrees, 400, <laughs> 400, 400, uh, <laughs> full point, F8. All right, let's go back up. Okay guys, because the close focusing distance is really, really good on this, I'll put the description below what the close focusing is. Uh, that allows you to get really close. So if you wanna do some close up type portrait lens, almost like macro-y like, um, and don't quote me on that, uh, <laughs> you can get really close to the model and really get a lot of detail. So that's what I'm doing right here for these final set of photos. We are good. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Okay, so the 28 to 400 f4 to f8. Well, even though this isn't normally a lens that you would see in my camera bag, I was still very pleased with the outcome of the images that I made with the lens. Now, the lens was nice and light, making it very easy to use, and the focusing seemed to be fast and accurate, and the images came out nice and sharp. Which is nice, seeing as this lens was designed to offer a super versatile zoom range for photographers who might want a super all-in-one lens to use for travel, sports, backyard wildlife, or whatever. It has built-in five stops of vibration reduction, and when paired with a capable camera, Synchro VR can be activated to achieve up to five and a half stops of stabilization. Combine that with the fast to smooth linear focusing drive, which is very useful for video and high speed shooting, and you have the perfect lens for a family trip to the zoo, your kid's football game, or on vacation somewhere. Now, because I was using a pre production copy, I wasn't able to keep any raw images from the shoot, so all of the images that I'm showing are either straight out of camera JPEG or edited JPEG images. So I won't be able to provide any raw images for the pixel peepers out there, but if Nikon wants to send me a production version for further testing, I will be happy to provide you all of the samples for you to judge for yourselves. But if you're already sold on the lens and want to buy it yourself, I have some affiliate links in the description for you to use to support the channel if you want. In the meantime, thank you for making it this far. Let me know what you think of the images and also what do you think of the lens, but also what lens would you love to see Nikon come out with next? I'm sure someone there is going to see this video, and so who knows what kind of innovation may come from your comments. Also, thank you Nikon for giving me the opportunity to test this lens because I had a great time and I look forward to more opportunities in the future. Anyways, peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one.